I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm because it's going to try only post-rally programs in terms of the clean. We have classrooms that will be structured to contain about 40, 50 students because they are professional programs. And this is, and all the classrooms also contain air conditioning sets to ensure that these are executive programs for you know people in the industries. And uh, you know the privacy. Yes, so we have about in this on the ground floor, and of course this is also one of them. Yes, they are all going to be driven electronically. Uh, we are not aware of the various factors. It's one of us that we use this. They are at the near end here. We also have toilet facilities for the students that we come. It's the same structure we have upstairs. So, no, we don't need to go to the toilet facility for girls. These are also offices of the program directors. There are two of them. One for the uh, executive programs and the other for the degree programs. So the degree programs would be run under the Faculty of Social Sciences. But the executive programs are standalone programs. They don't need a uh, second uh, degree approval before they can run that. And they can run short programs, three weeks, a program that the industry or the government can say, please do it for certain category of people. So they can run programs that they need also be to set up. This is a home. You need to see it. Yes. This particular road that starts from the nation comes to a goal. The road that leads to our premier university, the one of our university in Nigeria, Akabi is Alayuwa, Sikiri, Abito, the Awujale, the Jewish. You know, Awujale is someone who. Um, everybody will describe as someone who is very important. He only stands for what is just, what is fair, what is equitable. And he would tell you the truth as it is, regardless of whether you like to hear it or not. He had decided that one of his legacies, amongst many legacies, is to continue to find ways and means to enshrine good governance in administration. And he had a professorial chair here in this university that focused on on, on, on good governance. And he decided that to further that because of good governance, he was going to set up an institute of governance. And each time I promised him I was going to come and look at what's happening here, he had described to me, I'd seen pictures, I'd seen drawings, but nothing prepared me for what I've seen here today. I mean, you can see that the buildings we have seen here are simply world class. Awujale uh, does not uh, do anything in uh, small measures but this uh, is something that uh, uh, is beyond being impressive he has uh, uh, constructed these three buildings uh, one of them is an administrative block the other is a block that has the lecture rooms and the last one is uh, um, I believe uh, the conference room or, or, or lecture halls uh, and he has donated this alongside with ensuring that this place is also equipped with experienced, reputable professors to man uh, this issue of governance that will be providing uh, governance studies at the diploma level, the master's level, and the PhD level. You know, this is a public-private partnership at work. This is an example of a son of the soil, you know, giving back to his community. Uh, Kabiesi is a paramount ruler who um, has demonstrated you know, purposeful, credible leadership. You know, he has continued to ensure that peace reigns not just in his domain, but the entire state.